other news, one man is dead after a confrontation with police early this morning. And that man was shot by Covington officers who responded to the Cambridge Square apartments for a report of a burglary. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick on the story for us tonight. He's live. And Brian, you were able to talk, I guess, with some folks out there shedding new light on this? Yeah, Mike. Well, while this started as a burglary call here at Cambridge Square Apartments, as one woman who was close to the man who was shot tells us things aren't always as they appear. There's a spotlight on the crime scene and what happened here. There's a male outside trying to break in the back door. He's armed with a knife. It quickly intensified. 41, one gunpoint. There, it was pop, 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 pop. 41, shot fired, shot fired. Police say a man with a knife, now identified as Charles Neese, came at them. And they fired to stop the threat. Niece later died at the hospital, a few doors down from the crime scene. This is a ring that he got me for our 11 year anniversary. A different image of Niece emerges. Because when he, we first got together, he felt that my favorite animal was a penguin. Makisha Asher, who didn't want to be seen on camera, but provided this picture of the two of them, says they weren't married, but she called Niece her husband. She says his fight wasn't with police, but with something that wasn't really there. He's just been battling all day. It just kept getting worse and worse, and I didn't know what to do. And he was battling what? The voices in his head. She says Niece had a mental condition, came to her Cambridge Square apartment as he was struggling, hearing voices. It escalated, and he began pounding on windows. That's when police got involved, and things took a turn that took a life and changed another. That was my best friend. He was my everything. So without him, I'm, I feel like I'm nothing. Yeah, now she says that uh, Nice uh, was in uh, actually on parole at the time. He had apparently tried to ram a police car back in April. Uh, she says that he went to jail, but he never got the mental health that he needed. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.